What's up, my RC nerd friends? Welcome back. And I call you RC nerds with love because I am a nerd as well. This week on The Charlie Show, we're going to take a look at some of the new stuff that's going on with the AX system. New 550 motor is out in two different KVs, 2700 and 3300 KV. And there has also been a minor hardware change as well as a firmware update for the speed control. So the motor itself is obviously longer. This is the original uh, 540. And I mean, that's a really weak comparison, but it's... A bit longer is the idea in my trx4 it's almost kind of touching the body post there to give you an idea and it's almost touching the cross member that's in front of that this is, goes into the gen 8 goes in the axial i think it goes in anything that should fit one of those normal 550 you know brush motors for the most part or the motor itself has a five millimeter shaft so mine came with a pinion but mine was a pre-production one i'm pretty sure that all of our five millimeter shaft motors come with a pinion but uh don't quote me on that it'll be listed in the listing and like i said before two different kvs 27 and 3300 kV and people always want to know what kV should I choose and there's not a ton of difference in torque it's just the speed more than anything else so if you're going to do more go fast stuff than uh, climbing the 3300 is the way to go if you're more worried about runtime and stuff like that 2700 is the way to go but still these are more of a rock racer motor than something like this because it makes this thing rip it wants to do wheelies and it's super fast and it's a real good time to drive so uh, really livens things up I was uh, very pleased when I dropped this thing in there and drove it around the first couple of times on to the the updates for the speed control obviously you can see there's a fan on top so we got fan mounts going on there but there is no place to connect that to the speed control so you get the fan on the wire and it plugs in to the receiver itself so for my setup i haven't used the fan yet i haven't needed it this truck isn't very heavy obviously so but for more of the heavy duty rigs you're probably gonna have to be prepared to put the fan in there the big changes to the firmware updates are the punch has been addressed you know how when you get on the throttle it doesn't snap it's got what i always call the tape delay and it's real good for trailing but for rock racing and for some of the more competition based trail stuff uh, you want that snap to be right there so that has been addressed so you guys that were looking for that instant response you got that now in the new update the engineers came up with an awesome feature that allows you to adjust the kind of stall that's in there some folks don't like the way the axis foc just trucks along at a fixed rpm at whatever speed you put it most of us love that uh, but there's a handful of people that wanted a little bit of that brush stall back so there's a setting for that now it defaults to the way that it's always been and you can turn that down or up a little bit if you want it to be a little bit more aggressive the throttle matching or rpm matching is now adjustable and it's adding basically a brush motor stall feel to the initial response at the low speed when the vehicle comes up to like let's say an obstacle or something like that there's been a couple subtle changes with the speed control I guess what, what I call the mechanics of how the motor works, how it fires the motor, we've got some more efficiency there. So we got a little bit better runtime, a little bit more RPM, and this update works with both of the styles of motor, the old style and the new style, and the update also works with the old style speed control. The only topic that comes up if you're thinking about putting, you know, swapping motors around, the 550 motors are intended to work with the 1.1 version hardware speed control. So that is what engineering strongly recommends. So that if you want to make sure that you have the 1.1, you can hook it up to your Bluetooth. It says in the listing there what the hardware is, and you're good to go on 550s if you have that. Now, most everybody has 1.1s unless you got your axe super early on. And if that's the case, you're probably already in love with it and you're good to go. But the, the firmware update does also require one other step, the sensor reset that involves, you either have to take the motor out of the car, take the pinion gear off, um, and unplug it from the receiver and then walk through that's probably a 20 or 30 second process and that'll all be detailed down below in the description we'll have a link to a video that shows you that also but there you have it a bit of a quick update on the new axe 550 and the new firmware as well as the required automatic motor pairing or sensor reset and don't forget folks if you do have any questions about anything you've seen here or maybe something that you'd like us to address shoot an email over to north america at hobbywing.com thanks a lot